I'm a surgical oncologist with a focus in liver and pancreas pathologies. I see patients every day as an RWJ Barnabas physician in partnership with Rutgers Cancer Institute in New Jersey. And it's been incredible to leverage the entire health system and all the pancreas cancer experts across the field. So it gives me the confidence that these patients are getting the absolute best expert recommendations and the best possible care, and also opens up the whole health system, all the clinical trials that are available for them. The work we're doing now is trying to look at the microbiome of the pancreas, which is an emerging field, to understand if bacteria in the pancreas may be driving some of the progression of these cysts into cancer. We need to do better for patients in identifying which patients with pancreas cysts are going to devolve into cancer. We're diagnosing patients way too late. There's no known effective primary or secondary prevention for pancreas cancer. Cysts are one real thing we can target that we can see on radiographs, and it gives us an opportunity to help patients hopefully before cancer forms. My research is starting to look at can we better define who are those high-risk patients where we can intervene and hopefully identify these cysts and remove them and intercept the cancer process before it even happens? And who are the ones that have low-risk disease that never need a surgeon? I'd say when patients are meeting me as a surgeon, talking about potential options for surgery and curative therapies, it's a real moment of hope. And the, the patients who I see a year, two years, five years after their surgery and they're still doing well, and they come to the office and give me a hug, that's what makes it uh, really incredible. Rutgers Cancer Institute is the only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center in the state. And it's incredible that I can offer patients who are coming to me personally from Essex and Bergen County access to the academic clinical trial network and research that's going on down in New Brunswick by virtue of this large collaboration. The next step is really gonna be how can we combine what we now know is safe surgery with sequencing of chemotherapy and radiation and other targeted therapies to really optimize our chances for a cure.